Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and this is my series of tutorial videos on how to use SPSS to work with data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Compute tool to tabulate multi-item scales. As always, we'll be using the YouTube Viewing Habits survey that I created, and you can find both a link to the data file and a video tutorial of the data below. Often in psychology and in other disciplines, we have multiple questions that represent a single construct. Sometimes this is called a multi-item scale. And in our survey here, and in the YouTube viewing survey, I actually asked people a 15 item scale, which comprises five subconstructs known as the big five personality inventory. I'll put a link below to where you can pull these questions directly, but basically this captures five dimensions called openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. And you see all of those items right here. What's critical is that some of these items are actually reverse coded. It's noted with this R over here in the variable name, as well as the R in parentheses in the label. What that means is, whereas typically if I click on what these options are, one represents strongly disagree and seven represents strongly agree, typically a high response on this, meaning a larger number, would be a higher level of, let's say, openness or a conscientiousness. A reverse coded item means that the interpretation is backwards. The higher you respond on that scale, the less you are that type of a person. So when we compute our scale values, we actually have to take that into account. So to quickly walk you through this, the way we're going to do this, we're actually going to use the syntax editor. So to do that, I'm going to have to create a new syntax file if I don't have one open already. So under File, New, Syntax, that will open up this window here. And I know the names of my variables, which are right here. And I also know in the descriptions, if I just pop back over here, which ones are associated with which dimensions. So the ones that have an N are for neuroticism, E is for extroversion, O is for openness, A is for agreeableness, and C is for conscientiousness. And so I can construct these new variables. If I go back to my syntax editor, the syntax is actually very straightforward. It's just compute. And I'm going to create a new variable. We're going to call this openness. And openness is going to be equal to questions 7, 8, and 9. So what I can do is just take an average of those. And the easiest way I know how to do that actually is with three items just to sum them up and divide by three. And the items are going to be big 5 underscore 7 plus big 5 underscore 8 plus big 5 underscore 9. Those are the names of my variables, and I'll take all that and divide by 3. And critically, I have to end that with a period. So that'll create a new variable called openness. But I want to do these all at the same time. So I'm going to have another row, which is going to be compute conscientiousness. And that's going to be equal to questions 13, 14, and 15, though it's important to note that question 14 is reverse coded, so we'll see how we deal with that in a second. So first, big 5 underscore 13 plus variable 14, but again, that's reverse coded. So to reverse code that, we simply take eight minus big five underscore 14 underscore R. That's the name of the variable. Now, the reason that works is this is a seven item scale. And to reverse a seven item scale, meaning to invert the inference of any of the items, what we do is we take the value one above that scale and subtract the response from that. Because we'll see that if, let's say somebody says a seven, eight minus seven gets you to one. If somebody says a four, well, eight minus four is four, so it stays in place. So any value gets flipped over. We still need to then add to this composite the last item, which is big five underscore 15. And of course I had to then divide that all by three. So divided by three. That's all set and we can now move on to extroversion. So compute extroversion, and that's gonna be equal to items four, five, and six. So big five underscore four, whoops, gotta add that parenthetical back here, plus big five, big five underscore five plus item six reverse coded again, which is just eight minus big five underscore six underscore R. And then we close the parentheticals for both of those and divide by three again. So that's the computation for extroversion. Let's do agreeableness next. So compute agreeableness. And that's gonna be equal to items 10, 11, and 12. So we do eight minus big five underscore 10 underscore R because that is actually a reverse coded value plus big five underscore 11 plus big five underscore 12. And again, divide that by three. And finally, let's compute neuroticism. So that'll be compute neuroticism equals items one, two, and three. So big five underscore one plus big five underscore two plus eight minus big five underscore three underscore r and all that divided by three and before we run it we actually have to terminate all this with an execute command so execute and now we're all set to go so if i take all of these and i hit run 
I will now create five new variables, all down here. And if we click into one of them, we see that these are now the newly created average values for our scale. So now when we want to actually compute something, we can use these values here. That's it for this video. I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll be sure to reply as quickly as I can. Aside from these tutorials, I'm on a mission to equip everyone with the information they need to thrive in our data-rich world. If you'd like to learn not just the mechanics of analysis, which these video tutorials focus on, but also learn the intuition behind the analysis you're performing, I strongly suggest you check out the other intuition-focused videos on this channel where I take the jargon out of statistics and data science and help you build a deep, intuitive understanding behind all the analysis that you're performing. I'll put a link below to a playlist of the videos that focus on just this. Finally, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Thanks for watching.